हेडलाइन बनाने में और क्रेडिट लेने में आर मोदी जी इज एन एक्सपर्ट लेट इट बी द लार्जेस्ट वैक्सीनेशन ड्राइव और द ट्वेंटी लैक करो रिलीफ पैकेज मिलता तो घंटा कुछ है बट चल रहा है सो नाउ वी हैव अ न्यू मास्टर स्ट्रोक इन दिस कैटेगरी द ट्वेंटी पॉइंट वन परसेंट जी डी पी ग्रोथ मुझे क्रेडिट नहीं चाहिए गोदी मीडिया एज यूजल वेंट ऑन अ कॉम्प्लीमेंटिंग स्ट्रीक इंडिया जी डी पी हैज ग्रो ट्वेंटी पॉइंट वन परसेंट फ्रॉम द मंथ अप्रैल टू जून अप्रैल टू जून क्वार्टर ट्वेंटी पॉइंट वन परसेंट जी डी पी ग्रोथ बिंग रिकॉर्डेड बाई इंडिया एंड आई थिंक अ बिफिटिंग रिस्पॉन्स टू एवरीबडी हु क्वेश्चन हाउ इंडिया कुड हिट बैक इन द पोस्ट कोविड इरा ऑल यू हेटर्स बी फिटिंग रिप्लाई ऑल गॉड शेम ऑलवेज क्वेश्चन द गवर्नमेंट शेम ऑन यूल भारत के जी डी पी की ग्रोथ रेट बीस परसेंट से ज्यादा रिकॉर्ड की गई ये भी अपने आप में ऐतिहासिक कामयाबी है ऐतिहासिक कामयाबी क्या बात भाई The Indian economy continues to recover after the COVID impact. The GDP growth at 20.1 percent in the first quarter. Oh, this definitely is very good news, and let me tell you, it's exactly after one year. Last year, the same quarter, we saw the GDP had slipped to minus 23.4 percent, but it's taken us just one year to bounce back, and what a bounce it is! What a bounce it is! Bounce back, <laughs> bounce her over the head. It is. घंटा तो कुछ समझ में नहीं है इसको. भाई पहले जा रहे हैं नॉलेज एंड बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद दिस होल जीडीपी थिंग सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल प्लीज हम दस हजार पे ही अटके हुए हैं अभी आगे नहीं बढ़ रहे क्या हो रहा है प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इफ यू आर लाइकिंग माई कॉन्टेंट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट हेल्प मी ग्रो एंड लाइक द वीडियो शेयर प्लीज प्लीज डू दैट फिर तो जीडीपी कैसे बढ़ेगी इफ आई डोंट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू इट यू नो इवन आई हैव टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट राइट जी फिर बढ़ेगी देन टेन ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी talking like modi ji right now but what is the reality of this 20.1% gdp growth the reality is that modi ji is a legend in marketing though now let me explain to you step by step everything and please bear with me till the end because every aspect is important to understand now every quarter the government releases gdp data which shows the health of our economy so this time in quarter 1 of 2021 22 the growth rate of it was 20.1% now this seems very promising like 20.1% gdp growth matlab kya baat bhai but this growth is done by calculating the quarter of this year with exactly comparing it with the previous year so april may june of 2021 is compared with april may june of 2020 so what had happened in 2020 april may june obviously i can't expect you all to answer this is not a live session there was a harsh lockdown economy was on a hold only essential and emergency services were functional so the economy had taken a big hit during this time and gdp had contracted by 24.4% now you must understand this that the growth is not calculated by comparing a quarter just with its previous quarter it's with the quarter exactly one year before now if you take quarter 1 of 2020 and quarter 1 of 2021 comparatively quarter 1 of 2021 had lesser restrictions business activities were more functional and it was a bit better compared to nothing which was there in 2020 something was functional because of this you saw this big jump of 20.1% which is called low base effect which means that even a small jump in value in terms of gdp happens then the percentage jump is extremely high because the previous quarter was extremely low now let me give you an example suppose in quarter 1 of 2019 20 the gdp of india was rupees 100 then in 2020 quarter 1 our gdp contracted by 24% now the value became 76 rupees so from here again in 2021 quarter 1 it bounced by 20% now it has come to 91 rupees which shows that we are still 9 rupees short of 2019 20 levels so our main objective right now is to reach pre pandemic levels and we are nowhere close to that have we had a v shaped recovery no we haven't had a v shaped recovery v shaped recovery is extremely different from low base effect v shaped recovery means reaching the pre pandemic levels which we are far from if we look at these two data sets gdp and gva gva i'll explain in a bit both of these data suggest that we are closer to levels of 2017 18 four years before we are that behind and plus to that you should add the two years of growth we should have had 
and we haven't had because of this crisis. Now, if we compare quarter four of 2020-2021, that is January, February, March, and compare it with April, May, June, then our economy declined by 17%. So you're getting me this number which is being flashed, how misleading it is. This shows precisely why during a time of crisis, percentage numbers shouldn't be thrown, but absolute value should be shared. Under normal circumstances, it is fine that you take percentage numbers, but under crisis, this shouldn't be done because it is misleading. Now, there are four main components of GDP. First one is consumption, which means the demand by private individuals. It is the main component of GDP, approximately 56% of India's GDP. Then second is investment, which is the investment done by private sectors. This accounts to 32% of India's GDP. Then there is government. How much demand is created by the government? This accounts to 11% of GDP. And then the fourth one is net exports, which is how much India exported compared to how much India imported. Usually India imports more than it exports, so this value is often negative. Now, if you look at the consumption, the biggest component of GDP, we are at 2017-18 levels. No wonder you see investment is now at 2018-19 levels and that is lagging behind too. Now, the government wants to stimulate private sector investments by giving tax breaks and incentives to companies. But this is very unlikely to work because there is no consumer demand because the people don't have money. The government spending too has dropped in the quarter one of this year compared to quarter one of the last year, which is extremely worrying and is going to hamper the future growth of our country. The solution ultimately boils down to fiscal stimulus. Economists bol, bol ke thug gaye. give money in the hands of the people so that the economy gets kick-started. Basic, very basic. Nahi bhai, jao mein. Now there is something known as GVA, gross value added, which shows the value of a certain industry and how well it is functioning. Now if you see in terms of GVA, in this quarter one data shows only two sectors did well compared to 2019-20, agriculture and electricity, gas, water supply and other utility services. The other sectors are still struggling particularly trade, hotels, transport, communication and services related to broadcasting and construction. As you can see, since 2017-18, it is just going down when it comes to trade, hotels, transport. Even when it comes to construction, we are extremely low right now, worse than 2017-18. These two sectors have generated a lot of employment for skilled and unskilled labor. Now, if this keeps on declining, the unemployment is going to rise to another level. Now, some people will say that every country is struggling, which is true. A lot of the countries are struggling, but many countries have already recovered and come back to their pre-pandemic levels. Seven countries have come back to their pre-pandemic levels, USA, China, and so many others. Now that's a V-shaped recovery. Now the prediction for India that we will reach our pre-pandemic levels is in two years. So that bad is the situation. But ultimately, fiscal stimulus to dena hi nahi na, tum jao, gaan marao bhai. GDP and all these are all big, big, broad, broad terms we have in front of us. But what about the things which affect us immediately? Gas, petrol, diesel, unemployment. Uska kya? Gahe na bhaad mein. No one gives a shit anymore. Kuch bhi ho jaye, but ultimately va Modi ji va aur aayega to Modi hi. Because Modi ji is a legend. The true legend Masiha of... I don't know. Hope you understood. And if you have any comments, let me know in the comment section. And that's about it. Thank you everyone for watching the video. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.